Take another mile and I'll go. Take another mile and I'll go. Take another mile and I'll go. I'll go to the other side. Take another mile and I'll go. Take another mile and I'll go. Take another mile and I'll go. I'll go to the other side. I'm just a man looking to get a ride. Put out the thumb and I'll go, put out the thumb and I'll go, put up the thumb and I'll go, looking for a ride. Hitching here, hitching there, hitching every, everywhere. Ah, but sometimes I find myself walking a many, many long strides. Ah, it's nice to get under the wheels once in a while. So I say, take another mile and I'll go, take another mile and I'll go, take another mile and I'll go, and I'll go to the other side, even though they're going in the other direction, and I was trying to go south, and if I be getting on the other side, then I'm liable to be going north, at least, for at least a stretch of time, a stretch of ways, and maybe further than I really is interested in going, but... To have a little conversation and uh, be riding in a car with look, a canopy and start a blazing heat uh, just blaring down on me. It's, uh, it's a bit much sometimes. It's a bit much. So I just find myself getting desperate uh, out there. You know, crazy old bloke my, like myself. And I should think, well, why did you put yourself in such a position, a situation? Well, that's a long story for another time perhaps. But you get, you get kind of desperate, you know, trying to head south, and uh, it could be um, could be Wales, it could be uh, oh, just uh, west of Hammersmith Bridge, or oh, it could be a, you know, a mile's throw from uh, the old Blarney Stone. But uh, you do what you got to do. Sometimes you, you just rather get a ride, you know. You got time. You got you don't know. I've always all the time in the world, and so. Uh, you know, you just gotta get, you gotta get places, you know. And if you got a friendly old chap who's willing to pull over and uh, give you a lift, uh, it, it makes your day, man. It makes your day, mate. It's uh, it makes a world of a difference. But for those times where I'm just kind of desperate and, and I'm trying to go one direction and I'm just not getting a ride, yeah, some of these highways, these byways, I, I, I sometimes I just about go over to the side. I'll really give it a good thought or two. And uh, I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe I'll fetch better luck over on the other side. Give that a gander, even though it's going the other direction. Uh, at least it's something, <laughs> something better than you know, beating down in this concrete with my, you know, these boots or these like uh, weathered sandals or whatever I happen to be wearing for the day. But that's why I sometimes say, take another mile and I'll go. Take another mile and I'll go. I'll go to the other side. I'm just but a wee bit of an Irishman looking to get a ride. Is that too much to ask for? Oh, come on, lad. You got yourself a nice little sporty, you know, coop over there. What's it going to hurt? You got the top down. I'll just hop in, toss my bags in the back. Oh, how about you? Ah, uh, you bloke, you got a pickup truck. You don't even have to, you don't have to deal with me. I could just get thrown in the back, along with my rucksack. I could just hang out and just wherever you go, take me along and uh, I don't know, figure something out. If you're going, gonna go diverting one way, you know, and I'm trying to go another way, we, we, we can sort that out. It's not rocket science, you know, it's not. I'm not really putting you out. I've taken many a people. In my car, in my trolley, uh, you know, for a ride, uh, you, you know, I try, I try to pay it forward. I'm not being selfish, you know. I've had me many a cars and trucks and trolleys, and I, you know, uh, yeah, we're just trying to help each other out. You know, that's that's the ideal, right? That's kind of like what Christ said, you know. It was, um, hey man, you know, do unto others as you'd have done unto you. I don't have to be afraid of everything. I've never had a trouble, actually, in the times I've been given a ride or the times I've 
you know, I'm taking people board. You know, taking people board has been a little, oh, a little, uh, uh, yeah, 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 a little you know, there have been some times where it's like, okay, we're going to have to cut this short, but all in all, you know, it's like, no skin off my back. Anyway, have a blessed day. And if you see a chap looking to get a ride, you know, consider. I need some discretion or some uh, discernment, you know. Invite the Holy Spirit to be a part of that, that moment. Say, like, Lord, am I being convicted? Uh, should, I, should I pick up this chap? You may be so blessed by the conversation, the time, should you pick up this bloke and uh, just... Just converse, man. Just person to person, human to human. What do they got going on? What do you got going on? Things to share. They don't know you. You don't know them. Some people, they're just like, hey, you'd be one. I could just share like shit that I wouldn't normally share with others because I don't want to be judged. I don't want to be people going and gossiping about me. So I've had people share things with me like I'm a mobile counselor therapist and uh yeah what am I going to do with that information I just try to help I'm like I, I try to be consoling or give my two bits of uh two pence of advice or wisdom should I have any regarding the matter that's sharing with me but it's a beautiful thing you know and I'm able to share with them and they will share with me and it's you know, sometimes it's just it's it's magical. It's almost magical. I I, I tell you, no, it's no joke. It's 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 a it can be quite incredible, quite amazing. The world can be a very interesting place if we break free of our comfort zones once in a while. You know, just take a chance on somebody. You know, Ch take a chance. Sometimes, like what's what's the worst case scenario? Seriously. These crazy tales about, oh, he's going to have, like, a sultan's blade. You know, he's going to, like, pull it out of his uh, rucksack, you know, and he's going to hack you up to pieces. Seriously. I've never had anybody uh, pull out a uh, sultan's blade on me uh, out of the rucksack, and I definitely don't sport any sultan's blade in my rucksack. I'm not looking to harm anybody, not looking to chop anybody up and take their car keys, uh, it's, you know, it gets a bit silly, you know, um, obviously it's not impossible that somebody could be a harm or a threat, so, I mean, you know, you have to approach it with discretion and discernment, you know, you really have to invite God in on the matter and say, Lord, you know, I want to be helpful, I want to be charitable, but I don't want to be, like, regretting uh, taking this fella on for for a ride. I didn't want it to be the ride of my life that's like, oh, could this possibly be the end of my life? I just think those circumstances are few and far between. I haven't heard legitimate stories from the chaps that I've met that have done their fair share of hoboing or uh, hitchhiking. And uh, from my own, my own personal experiences, and there are many, uh, many of the kindest people, the sweetest people, have 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 been the ones to to pull over and say, "Hey, come on in, come on in. Where are you going? How are you doing today?" The wonderful people that have stopped and and and, and offered a ride. Uh, really, I uh, seriously, I can't think of any like terribly bad situations. You know, uh, there's been some situations where a couple guys near Nogales, uh, Mexico, uh, near the border. There, uh, well, it was, it was New Mexico, so maybe a ways off from the guys, but oh, they had a minivan full of empty beer cans, and they were they were pretty well sloshed. But um, that was, uh, yeah, they, I, I survived, and there was, yeah, no, yeah, no, uh, no major catastrophes or anything like that. But I was, I was second guessing being in such a predicament, but um, um, made it safely to Los, Cru Los Cruces. Uh, Los Cruces, New Mexico. I think they picked me up just outside of El Maguardo by um, White Sands Missile Base. Uh, and uh, fortunately, it was like, I don't know, February or March, so it wasn't terribly hot, but, you know, it was getting a little bit warm, and I was 
I'm getting a little bit parched. I uh, didn't have my canteen or it was empty and uh, not exactly find, finding flowing streams along the, um, yeah, the uh, highway there running along the White Sands Missile Base and the stealth fighters are flying over my head. No joke. Um, it was, uh, I think they're making practice runs for, wow, this must have been back in the days of, I don't know, a desert storm or um, I, think, I think Persian Gulf War was earlier. But uh, yeah, that was all, it was all, that uh, whole Iraqi war stuff was uh, was looming at that time. Yeah, well, anyway, I've babbled on long enough. You have a good day. Maybe, may you be blessed. Peace out.